starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Hike! Atta boy, Mike. Nice catch. Nice pass. Well, I gotta get home now, boys. Me too. I promised to help my pop. Hey! You're gonna let me play for a while. Who wants to play with him? Well, it's his football. How about it? Okay, pass one. I'll play defensive back. Here's what, Timmy. You center the ball to me, run five paces forward, and cut to your right. Five steps forward and cut to the right. Okay. Come on, get rid of it, will ya? Thing all said, 21, 22, hike. Try catching some more. Reach for it. You better give it to me, Steve. How are you gonna catch or pass if you can't reach for this? You better stick to games for little kids. Football's too rough for a shrimp like you. Who are you calling a shrimp? Did you ever take a good look at yourself? Maybe I am little than you are, but I'm almost as old as you. I bet I can keep up with you any time. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Then prove it. You won your ball, let's see you get it. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? You keep out of this. You too, Lassie. This guy can't scare me. What are you waiting for? Shrimp. You've got what it takes. You're a pretty good fighter, too. Let's shake on it. Go on downfield, Tim. I'll pass you on. There's that pass. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? See you. Okay, see ya. You know what? He's a pretty nice guy. And so are you. Girl. I guess you ain't worried about me. I'm all right. I think she's trying to tell you something. Yeah, but what? That you got a black eye. A real shiner? Oh, boy. See you tomorrow. All right, Timmy. <laughs> well, after such a greeting, I'd say that you deserve a nice biscuit. Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. Oh, Timmy. You're hurt. What happened to your eye? It's a real shiner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my poor baby. Now, I'll have this nice and cold in a minute. Poor Timmy. Here, now. There, I know it hurts, but this is the very best thing for a black eye. Will it take the black away? Yes, some of it. But I want it black. Suppose you tell me how this happened. It was a well of a fight with Steve Talbot. Steve Talbot? He's twice your size. No, he isn't, Mom. 
He just looks it. Well, he's a bully. And he has no business fighting with anyone who's as small as you are. I'm almost as old as he is. That makes it a fair fight. Don't you worry, Mom. I'm all right. Come on, Lassie. What's the matter, Ruth? Timmy's been hurt. Badly? You should see him. He has a black eye. No kidding. He was in a fight with a boy twice his size, Steve Talbot. Timmy stood up to Steve Talbot? What are you so pleased about? Well, what I mean is that... Have you ever seen Steve Talbot? He's a giant compared to Timmy. I'm just going to phone his mother and tell her what I think about this. Oh, wait a minute, Ruth. Now, what was it all about? I don't know. I don't know anything except that bully gave Timmy a black eye. No, no, calm down. It's not the first or last black eye Timmy will ever get. Now, you've got a long way to go before you raise a boy to where he's a man. Isn't it a beaut? Well, how's the other fellow? You know what Steve said? He said, I've got what it takes. Then he shook hands with me. I bet he won't call me shrimp anymore. Oh? And if he doesn't, none of the other kids will either. I see. And that's what the fight was all about, huh? Well, once in a while, a, a fight is necessary to convince people of certain things. Fighting in, in self-defense is a necessary evil sometimes. I'm glad you understand, Dad. But a fellow shouldn't go around looking for one. But he challenged me. I had to fight him. I know what you mean, son. Make a fist for me. Now, that is the surest way I know to get a broken thumb. Now, look. Keep the thumb outside and tight and hit with the knuckle, see? Gosh, thanks, Dad. Now, I suppose we go clean up some of that battle dirt, huh? And I'll go reassure your mother. Dad? When Mom saw my black eye, she didn't understand. How come you understand, and Mom didn't? Well, in the first place, mothers are worriers. As a matter of fact, mothers not only worry about their children, they worry about their husbands, too. So when she saw that black eye, she didn't realize what it meant to you. I get it, Dad. Mothers are pretty special. And we've got to keep in mind that when they worry about us, it's because they love us. I won't forget. Thanks, Dad. How is he? Well, he's fine, Ruth. Oh, sure, he's got a black eye, but he wouldn't trade that for a million dollars. Paul Martin, you act as though you're proud of him. As a matter of fact, I am. What you've got to understand is that being one of the fellas is the most important thing in his life right now. Well, to be one of the fellas, does he have to use his fists? Well, he's got to show that he can hold his own with other boys his own age. How can he, when he's so small compared to other nine-year-olds? Well... A big part of growing up is to rise above your limitations. Our Timmy may be small in size, but darling, he's a young man of stature. news brings you home so promptly. The fellas voted me on the football team. There's a place here where you sign for permission. Where's the pen? Football. It's the first time the fellas ever asked me. Uh-uh, no football. But, Mom, all the other kids are playing. I don't care who else is playing, you're not. It's too rough a game for a small boy.
How'd everything go today? I got boarded in the football team. How about that? Will you sign my permission card? Yeah, I sure will. You will not. And don't look at me like that. I've already told him he can't play. But Ruth! There is no but Ruth. I've made up my mind. I'm not going to have any child of mine coming home with a broken arm or a leg, and that's final. Well, I don't always agree with your mother's decisions, but we do abide by them. Isn't that so, Timmy? Go on in and wash up for supper. I'm not hungry. Timmy, we all sit down and eat supper together. Yes, sir. Is it all right if I bring my football tomorrow? I promised the kids they could use it, even if I don't play. Oh, yes, of course you can. And uh, I'll make a bucket of lemonade. My kids are used to water. Don't you touch that card. I'm gonna tell the fellas I forgot it. At least I'll get one day's play with the team before I have to tell them, my mommy won't let me play. And you better not tattle if you know it's good for you. I mean today. football on the work bench, and it's not there. Lassie? All right, where is it? You heard me say I'd let the fellas use my ball. Everything else is bad enough. Are you gonna make me break that promise, too? Well? spread formation? Just like we talked about. Okay, let's go. Right. Oh, 
<laughs> What's the matter, Lassie? Did they send you back for a patching job? She doesn't look mad. That's because she hasn't seen me yet. We'll wait here till you go in. Sometimes I think my mom's gonna be mad at us, but then she fools me. My mom, too. I'm scared to go in. Then it's nothing. Keep your chin up. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Tim. So long, Tim. Hello, dear. Not again. It wasn't a fight. We won by three touchdowns. We better go to my room, girl. And you let him play. Wow, he's in for it. Huh? Jimmy again? Another fight? You heard me tell him he was not to play football. You mean he really played football today? I can't understand his doing it. It's not like him at all. You know, Ruth, if you could have seen him with his friends this morning, well, Ruth, Whether he... I was right or wrong is beside the point. He deliberately disobeyed me. That's what's important. Paul, I'm afraid you're going to have to do something about it before this kind of rebellion gets any further. Honey, aren't you taking this whole thing too seriously? Do you think he should be allowed to defy me? You know better than that. Well, then, as his father, it's your duty to discipline him. Well, Timmy? Call me Tim, will you, Dad? Sure, Tim. <laughs> this is going to hurt me as much as it will you, girl. Dad's right. You won't like this. I know what's going on in there. Timmy deserves it, and you know it. I didn't want to disobey Mom. Honest, I didn't. Then why did you do it? Well... After Steve gave me that black eye, the fella stopped calling me shrimp. We're not talking about the fight. We're talking about football. I know. But don't you see? That's why they asked me to play. They asked me. I didn't ask them. And if I would have told them my mom wouldn't let me play, they would have started calling me shrimp all over again. And sissy, too. Now do you see? Of course I do, Tim. But, uh, you still deliberately disobeyed your mother. I'm nine and a half. And when a fella gets that old, well, he wants his mom to treat him like, like a fella, not like a baby. I knew it was wrong. I knew I'd be punished for it. But I had to do it. They say that children go through growing pains when they're growing up. Well, I found out that 
parents, and especially mothers, go through growing pains, too. It hurts when you see your child growing up. But, uh, well, it's kind of a nice hurt once you get to understand it. I'll, uh, I'll be glad to sign your permission card. Thanks, Mom. You can call me Timmy now, Dad. <laughs>